welcome back to this first period intermission of Metal Ridge Collision Hockey Night in Maple Ridge. And I am pleased to be joined by number 91, Eric Borhill. Eric, thank you so much for coming up and doing this. How are you? Good, how are you? Thank you for having me. Doing good. And so first game back after a lengthy layoff with an injury. And how does it feel to be back with the boys in game action? It feels really good to be back. Um, I'm healthy now. And then just be back playing with the boys is awesome, too. So last week we had Teddy Pryor. Yeah. come up and, and talk with us so hopefully he gave you a little bit of a fill on how to do this but you came over last year you won you won on this ice in the pghl with the delta ice hawks yeah you get traded back here get to play with logan hunter and teddy Pryor. what was it like winning the pghl and how does it feel coming to a team that is trying to take that next step to achieve what you accomplished last year um it feels really special to be a part of that group that won the championship last year um Never been on a team that's won a high stakes championship like that in regular season. So uh, it was really nice to do that. And then coming here with uh, like guys I know, my buddies, um, and with a good young team and a couple of veterans that hopefully we can lead the way and win it this year. You guys are looking good so far. And this is something that maybe you've been watching the games, being able to be around the boys. Um, this team has been dominant on home ice the past month, month and a bit. And what kind of mentality do you guys have when you come in here, no matter the opponent, it seems, to play as hard as you do and to win as big as you guys do? Well, we want to come out every night and do our best and get the result, which is a win. And especially in front of our home fans, we want to come out strong. No matter who we're playing, we're going to put our best effort there. And we have a good team where we're able to beat teams and run up the score. And then I guess last question. We don't want to keep you too long, get you back with the boys for the intermission. Um, you, you go from a Delta team where you weren't necessarily on their first or second lines but had all the skill, and then you come over here, like we said, to try and help this Flames team. What's it like to be an offensive leader, to be someone that maybe some of the younger guys look up to to try and provide offense? Uh, yeah, it's a big honor. Um, like I've always been like a skilled guy, and then Delta, we had a really good team, a lot of veterans, and um, just watching those guys last year and the way they handle themselves and definitely teaching the rookies like that's something I came here and wanted to do and then I battled the injury bug too last year so it didn't help uh, being out for four months but it's nice to have my opportunity here and uh, hopefully win a championship with these guys. Well Eric on behalf of the broadcast booth and hopefully fans of the team it's been a pleasure watching you in the games that you've been able to make thank you so much for thank coming up for and doing me. this and best of luck throughout the season.